All right, today I want to actually I want to show you a couple things. This is a, a forsythia plant. This is in a container. So one of the things that I want to show you is what happens when you prune you know in, in the last video that we did we talked about pruning Japanese maples and this it's very it's a lot more obvious here but as you can see this is all relatively new growth up here from last year this down here is growth from the year before but you can see that in the nursery they cut this plant back kind of heavily and it forced this plant to fill out now if I put this thing in my landscape what I'm going to actually do is just draw all this up like this and then I'm going to just cut it right here because that's going to force it to fill out even more because with flowering shrubs, especially fast growing shrubs like forsythia, you want them to, to get nice and full at the bottom. They'll get full at the top automatically if they're nice and full at the bottom. So, But you can see where this thing was cut right here and here. And you got one, two, three, four new branches there. And if you cut it right here again, you're going to get more. So that's a good lesson in pruning. And what, Had this thing not been pruned, you would have had just great big long branches going up like this. And a lot of times you end up with a plant that looks like rabbit ears. So that's not at all what you want. Now the other thing that I want to show you, let me get my pocket knife here. A lot of times when you buy a plant in a container, it's root bound. And you can see where this one is, is pretty well root bound. Now if you just stick it in the ground, it, it'll probably be okay. But the ideal thing to do is to make a couple of vertical cuts, maybe about three. And what I did, I just cut these roots right here. And that's going to break that pattern that this plant has established of growing in a circle this way. And every place that I cut these roots, we're going to get all kinds of new root growth, and that root growth, growth I'm going to actually, there's a big wad here in the bottom, so I'm going to break up this pattern and that pattern. And that's really about what I need to do. And when I plant it, I can loosen this up a little bit, but I've already put this plant in a position where it's going to put on a lot of new fibrous root growth, and it's very good, quickly going to establish itself in its new location. So that's important to do, because once they start girdling this way, that can be a pattern that won't, won't break itself. You need to teach the plant to do that on its own. Now the next thing I'm going to show you is how to layer this plant in such a way to propagate it and produce uh, new plants. So I'm coming to go over here, I dug a hole. I'm going to drop this thing in there. Again, I, that's the grade I want. I don't want it any deeper than that. So I'm going to fill that in. Pack it in nice and tight around there, just like that. That's, that's good. Now, when you go to layer a plant, what you want to do is you're going to take a branch and you're going to pull it down to the ground and just cover it with soil. So I'm going to dig a little hole. Take my knife, pull it down in there. Right about there is where I'm going to lay it. So I'm going to turn this up, and I'm actually going to wound this plant right along there. And I made that probably an inch and a half, two inches long. That's plenty long enough. I'm going to push that part into the hole. Just like that. And now I made these little wire clips. I found some old, just old wire laying around here. I probably don't need this. You can either set a big rock on here like that to hold that in so it doesn't pop out, or you can take a wire clip just like this if you have something you can make that out of. Now, I wounded that plant. Where I wounded it, that plant is going to actually callus up and then it's going to produce new roots. Now, the, the, the beauty of layering is that we're going to root this part of the plant, but it's still attached to the parent plant, so this part is getting all the nutrition and everything it needs. Unlike a typical cutting where you just completely clip it off, you know, typically if you're making a cutting, you're just going to go in here and make your cutting like that, strip off these bottom two leaves like that. Now, of course, you wouldn't want to, you want the plant to be new growth and all that, and we'll talk about that in a different video. But that's a typical cutting, but there's no roots, and that, that plant has to support itself. So what we've done here by layering, we've actually force this plant into the ground, it will root right where I pushed it into the ground, and it's going to, um, 
it's it's gonna it's got plenty of nutrition and stuff it's being fed from the parent plant so it's really a very efficient way to to layer the plant now I'm gonna take this one down and yeah, that one's a little too stiff so I'm gonna take this one right here again I'm gonna wound it from here to here just like that just scraping below the bark into that cambium layer gonna put some soil on top of there pack it in just like that and then in that case I wouldn't even mess with the, the wire clip it depends on the plant if you're getting resistance you can use a wire clip or just a rock and set it on now I can go around here and find a number of different branches that I can layer and root you know five six eight ten different cuttings off of this plant so that's a lesson in planting a container plant a lesson in root pruning a container plant before you plant it and a lesson in layering to propagate a plant there's all kinds of different plants that you can layer that way and since it's such a simple technique it's fun to just experiment with different ones in your garden so I'm Mike McGordy from freeplants.com